Hey, what's up everyone i hope you're having a fantastic day so today what i want to be talking to you about is patience i know for a fact that i cannot be the only one that has this issue where you just want to get constantly involved in the markets and so you're just waiting and waiting anxiously so that the trade can set up that has been the cause of many of my blown accounts uh fortunately it was all demo however i do notice that the better i become in analyzing the market the feeling of impatience still arises and so what I'm going to be talking to you about in this video is how impatience has caused me to lose uh, various trades. Where could that all be coming from, possibly? And as well as how is it that I can deal with it uh, moving forward? This is why I say becoming self-aware into trading is very useful because once you begin to recognize your issues or your weaknesses, you can hone it down and pretty much challenge it so you make that same mistake less. So let's get started. I want to show you today on how it happened to me in the markets today. Okay, so what I have here is a chart for Euro US dollar. I really don't want to bore you in how I analyze the charts, but today what I want to show you is pretty much how impatience took down 2% of my account. So pretty much what I was looking for was a sell opportunity. Uh, nothing, nothing was showing up for a while. And you know, and this is kind of like where impatience was beginning to set in, you know, until I saw something in the nine minute chart. I don't personally use the nine minute chart. I guess the feeling of impatience was so great that like I, I wanted to use it, right? So I saw my opportunity. I saw my entry develop, which is uh, represented by this red box right here. And so that's what I thought. I have my blue box here, right? Which is pretty much my point of interest. And what I tend to do is pretty much get 50% of that. And so when I got into the trade, uh, you can see that in the lower time frame, things were looking good for like a minute. <laughs> until i got stopped out now i was very confident that this was going to work um however the market decided otherwise and it stopped me out right cool you know what the sell didn't work but guess what i thought that getting in on a buy would suffice you know when i was being impatient my mind i guess started making up things or started make me, making me see things that were in there so what i noticed was that i was trying to getting into this buy and that's the thing about being impatient. It starts making you see things that are not really there. And when you're trying to trade like the one minute chart where things are happening rapidly, there's really no time for second guesses. So when you get in, yeah, there's like, there's no doubt in your mind that it's going to work. And so that's kind of like the attitude that I brought in. However, because of impatience, it caught me, it caused me to make a mistake in my analysis. And that's what it was. So I have my point of interest right here where I thought price was going to mitigate it here and then continue to take it for higher prices. But what ended up happening was I got stopped out. And so pretty much that caused me into a downward spiral. But because I have experience, because I, I know about that feeling, I decided to stop for the time being and decided to wait for, uh, you know, New York open. After I finished my trading uh, session, I went back into the markets to see where I messed up. And it turns out, you know, there really was no clear entry for me to even be involved in this market um, around this time frame. The sell, I would have taken a loss for, but the buy really had no, there was no supporting evidence. And so what I was trying to say about earlier is that having impatience in the market, it's pretty much a horrible attribute to have. If you're trading, you know, FTMO, uh, any prop from challenge, you, you know that you have a max drawdown. Uh, and so trading in this manner is pretty much unacceptable. Yeah, that's what I want to show you on how it showed up into the markets today. That's something that I'm going to be continuously working on uh, as I improve my trading analysis. You see, because what ended up happening was I ended up finding an entry somewhere around here. But guess what? Um, I ended up missing it. Look at this. It's a two-pip stop loss. And my profit targets would have been like up here somewhere. Like up here that would have been like a 11 hour trade and then what i did miss out on was this opportunity uh like you could ignore this part right here oh i ended up seeing my entry right here represented by this white box but because i was so busy battling my mind about darn man why why were you so impatient why didn't you just wait a little longer you know price was developing it created my setup and i missed it you know and this potential 11 hour trade and now you feel even worse so <laughs> Where does this all come from? Because I believe that, you know, mistakes aren't just mistakes because they just all happen. Every person is unique because they all have their own story, their own up upbringing. But for me, I believe why I'm so impatient is pretty much because of fear. Just fear. <laughs> you see, 
um, I, I come from a background where, um, you know, I didn't come from a lot of money. And so, you know, growing up with this kind of uh, environment, it kind of creates the mentality of having the urgency to create money as quickly as possible. And this is something that I've been battling ever since I started trading, you know. But what I do think is helpful is to self-reflect within oneself so that you start realizing why is it that you were feeling this way in the first place. And it's not the markets, it's nothing to do with financial institutions, nothing to do with the way I analyze. You know, it's, it's got to do with the driver's seat. It's got to do with the trader themselves. Where does this emotion come from? Like a robot will not be making this kind of mistake. So why is it that the trader is? And I believe, you know, everyone's different. Everyone has their own upbringing. Everyone has their own um, challenges and, and demons they have to fight. But I believe that in my case, the reason why I'm, I'm impatient is because of fear. Okay, so how can I deal with this? How can I deal with this challenge of being fearful? What I do tend to notice that does help is repetition. Repetition in the markets, repetition in trading. Once you start developing an eye for the kind of trade that you're looking for, really now you can start forcing yourself to wait. Because you already know what to look for, you are making yourself accountable into pursuing that exact trade. In order to do that, you need to be patient. So that when your setup shows up, you know what, when, to, when to take it. See, this is why it's so challenging because so many of us are showing up into the market pretty much with zero strategy and with the mentality of making as much money as we can. When the truth is, if you are uh, someone who's serious about trading and wants to make profits consistently, like every day you show up to the markets and you make profit, and you can agree with me on this or not, let me know down in the comments. But there needs to be some form of control, no? As to how is it that you're going to be managing your emotions when you are waiting for your setup to show up? Because now you see what are the consequences when there is no patience. You start seeing things. <laughs> you know that saying, holding back on trade, something like that? They're like not touching the keyboard. I'm trading with my arms or something like that. I can't quite remember the quote right now. But, you know, I even bought something like this. Now, this is not sponsored or anything, but I bought this thing from Purple. You can check purple.com. They make pillows or whatever. And they pretty much had this thing on sale. And so what I tend to do is just pretty much just play with it, you know? Instead of having my hands on the keyboard and mouse where I am pushing buy or sell button, you know? I know in the TD Ameritrade app, there is a Tetris game that you can play on the side. Or is it Minesweeper? One or two. You know, this is, these are some things that I found can be helpful. At the end of the day, no one's, no, no one's supervising the trader. Unle unless you are someone in a prop firm, like that's physically in an office with other traders. You know, many of us, if you're just at home on your computer, there's no one really watching you, right? There's no one there to discipline you. Like you, ha you as the trader have to be the one that has to be uh, disciplined themselves. See, this is why it becomes so difficult because it's such a lonely game. It's the, this is the kind of world we decided to get into. But those who wait, you know, they get good rewards, man. I'm telling you. So that's it for me today. Let me know how um, you're working on your patience. What are some of the things that you're doing to control yourself? Psychology is something that's not spoken about very much in this field. And I get it. I'm not a registered nurse. Or I'm not a registered psychiatrist. I can't be diagnosing you with these things, but I, but I can't talk about it. And that's what I wanted to bring to your attention. But yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to show you today. But that is my biggest weakness in the Forex market. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if there are any other topics you wish to talk about, you know, let me know down as well. I hope this... Uh, so little self-reflection talk helps you pretty much uh, start self-reflecting if you haven't or makes you realize that, you know, patience doesn't just come from nowhere. It, it comes from somewhere deep inside of you and it's just a matter of faith in it. And if you can't, well, you know, that's why there's, uh, you know, that's why there's a good friend or a psychiatrist or a trusted adult. So they used to say, uh, but yeah, don't, don't, don't give up if you're really in this for the long haul, you know. This is something that everyone has to has to face up with sooner or later yeah and it doesn't just it doesn't just go away as you can see even even me who who thinks that i have a good setup or a good um strategy i still make these kinds of mistakes and i know i've seen some people on youtube where even they're quote-unquote professionals and they still make little formal mistakes it's crazy all right so let me know what you think down in the comments and i'll be catching you in the next one all right take it easy